What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here. I got a big old filet of mutton in my vacuum seal bag from Outrigger Outdoors Vacuum Sealers in the link below. You can use promo code Island Key for 10% off. Now, this piece of fish has been in the freezer since May 29, 2021. And as you can see, there is no freezer burn whatsoever. This piece of fish is still perfectly good to eat months later. Yes, I did set it outside because I got to defrost it. We're going to be eating it tonight. Someone's honking their horn back there. But right now I'm waiting on my girlfriend Cheyenne, which if you're an old time fan, way back on my channel, Cheyenne has made an appearance on some fishing and spearing videos before. She's one of my best friends. She's picking me up and we're going to go to a plant nursery and get a few plants. I have a few now. I'm getting into the plant life. I really love it. I have a couple aloe plants here boom boom and this is like a desert rose it does not need much water at all and i think i might have overwatered it but it's a learning process and this is like a really big plant i like big leaves so we're gonna see what we have there but right now we're gonna get on the road we're gonna go pick out some plants she's filming something what are you filming an intro we're here the party has arrived she brings gifts I you bring gifts <laughs> Oh my gosh, my milkweed plant. Let's go get some more. Let's go get some more. This is Cheyenne, everyone. Can we talk so, about the budget y'all have? <laughs> no, there is no budget. <laughs> I was just defrosting some mutton snapper. So if you remember Cheyenne from my past videos, drop a comment below. Y'all have been asking to see her. I swear every single video I look at the comments and I get at least five comments saying, where's Cheyenne, where's Cheyenne? Well, she's Back right here. Back in action. <laughs> Back in action. This is a milkweed plant, and you got it where? Key West, Palm. right? Uh, yeah, I got actually this one in Key West. I did. Um, I think Palm City Palms has some too, though. But oh, it's a, what is it? Um, monarch Coast. Yes. So I have been looking for a monarch plant, wait, milkweed plant, for months, and I can't find them here. And she was just in Key West, and she's like, I just found milkweed plants. So she brought it all the way up from Key West to me for my birthday, which was August 29th. I'm 25 now. So we're gonna get on the road. We're gonna go pick out some plants. We just made it. This place is incredible. It smells amazing. Yeah, so you can train it to be a tree. Yeah, so like at my house, I keep it trimmed up and then the top is green. Oh, you know what I mean? Cool. So it yeah. can be like a multi trunk tree. You guys, we just got here and this place is incredible. There's so many plants to choose from that it's kind of giving me anxiety. <laughs> I could stay here for hours, but I just found the milkweed. I'm gonna pick up some more milkweed because it's nice It's nice to have some butterflies flying around. Here's all the milkweed right here. And we actually just saw a monarch butterfly on these flowers right here. So Brooke just pointed out a monarch butterfly egg on the milkweed leaf. Check this out. Right there. It's so little. How cute. <laughs> it's just one egg. Mm -hmm. I feel like and he's I mean, so the lonely. caterpillar comes out tiny and they just grow. Yeah. How cool is that? You guys, $4 for a milkweed plant. I, I am stocking like, up. If you guys want to know where my YouTube money goes, you're watching it right now. Brooke and Cheyenne just found a caterpillar on the milkweed plant. Where's the caterpillars? Right over here. I never there thought I'd be so excited about a bug. Under here. Oh, hello. Is that a monarch uh, mm -hmm. caterpillar? How oh, cool. <laughs> I know the ones you're taking? Yeah, those are Cheyennes. You know what I instantly thought about that when I saw that caterpillar? is a caterpillar off Bug's Life. The oh. really, really big one. Yes, I know exactly which one you're talking about. I haven't seen that in forever. This place is so big, you can literally get lost. Here's this big Ooh. Thing. These plants are really in right now. No idea what they're called. Monster? Monstera. Monstera. Big, beautiful leaves. So right now I'm looking for some plants to put in the front area. Right now it's just dirt. Um, I was waiting until Gabe got the driveway finished. So now I can decorate. So I'm looking for three 
good plants that are in like direct sun, don't need a lot of water. Um, that area is pretty dry when it rains, the roof kind of covers it. So it does not get a lot of rain. So I'm in search for those plants. Definitely picked up some milkweed because butterflies are cool. And there's caterpillars on the milkweed. So it's like two in one, you get the plant and the caterpillar. It is so hot out here right now, but I think I might have to come back. We're running out of room in Cheyenne's car. We got the back loaded. Cheyenne decided to buy a full on tree. <laughs> and we still have some plants to squeeze in here. These babies, you're doing good, you're doing good. We got this. All right, where else? We need, I think this is the last one, right? Yeah. And I'm gonna look, take a, I'm gonna take another lap around. I'm gonna come back for sure. I'm just gonna go with the plants I have, plant them, and then see what I can add, what colors, if I want flowers or not later on. So I don't just buy a bunch of plants and like waste them. They have these little flowers that bunnies eat and I'm so tempted to buy them just so the bunnies can eat them. All right, definitely not the last time I'll be here, but we are loaded to the brim in plants. <laughs> it smells good in here. Can't smell anything still. I still cannot smell Seriously? anything. I can only smell like, like strong lemon. I can't smell bleach, which is really bad. I cleaned the bathtub, that's how I know. I'm like, I cannot smell this bleach right now. Um, and certain like fruit, like fruity flavors I can kind of smell, but it's coming back, but it's not like 100%. My taste is back 100%. You got this, Cheyenne. How much when I'm not hitting people or plants? I mean, there's a lady not. back there, but I can't really see. I can see her in my backup camera better. All right, we're good. Mark safe. Dang, I feel like the perfect end to this plant sesh would be to go to Starbucks. However, you already got Starbucks. <laughs> And I'm wrapping a Starbucks cup. I still need to go get coffee grinds. It's like been four days now and I'm just living on Starbucks. We're back at the house. I'm gonna go ahead and trim up the banana trees that I planted a few months ago. I think I have a picture of when I first planted them and they were much smaller and now they are much bigger. But I got some milkweed here. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it yet. I gotta find a good spot for them. Um, probably like half shade, half sunshine. And I do have a caterpillar on one of them, so hopefully I can watch it become a butterfly. So this side yard, we don't really know what we want to do with it yet. We're just kind of like, it's kind of the side work. Like we go and make videos, fish, and then when I have downtime, I figure out, hmm, what plants do I want to get for the side yard? So right now the banana trees, they're looking rough, but it's only because this is what banana trees do. They grow leaves, the ones on the outside die, and then new ones, sprout up in the middle as you can see there this one that's a pretty new one too and then we got these little guys down here which you can see one is starting to come up right there so i'm gonna go ahead and trim up all the dead stuff just so they look a little bit nicer i don't know videos like this when it comes to gardening and yard work and renovation like it takes me multiple days to film them and then i put it all into one video so right now i'm gonna get to cutting off leaves so this here is much better. I'm leaving that one just because I want to let it naturally fall and then I'll come cut it off. But now they're all green and this I will discard. Now, something I just did is I'm just kind of winging it, but we had like three leftover conch in the fridge in a Ziploc and they're too old now to eat. And I had a big bag of fruit like cantaloupe, melons, so I threw all of it in a blender with some water, blended it up, and I put it at the base of the banana trees. Kind of like a natural fertilizer and then watered it down. So hey, maybe it'll help them grow faster, better, maybe the fruit will be better, you never know. Oh, and then look at my little avocado tree. This I'm proud of. Look how cute it is. I planted it. I bought a big avocado from Publix and just planted the seed. It's actually growing two little trees. This one is a mango seed off of Gabe's mom's mango tree. The best mango tree you have ever seen and the best mango you've ever eaten. Look at this lizard right here. Hold on. Where'd he go? Lizard, where the heck did you just go? What? 
Dang, that lizard just Houdini'd on me. So I decided I want to put all the milkweed plants right here because it's right next to the door, it's up against the house, it's half shaded, half sunny, and it's just a nice little spot I can make like a nice little butterfly garden. However, I gotta move this dog house that's been here. I don't know. Did you have a dog in this? Redneck, what do you mean? Redneck lived in this? <laughs> no, he, that was his hangout for the day. Did he ever hang out in it? Not really. I can't remember. Well, I went to go move it and I noticed two Bufu frogs under it. And Bufu frogs are insanely invasive and they will kill your dog in a split of a second. So I'm gonna try to remove them from our yard. I think they're still there. I got my money on the Bufu frog. I know. Oh. Alright, there's one. Wait, don't scare it. Actually, I'm gonna leave it and try to hit that thing. This is gonna be a lot harder. Okay, I might have to tip this up. Oh, yeah. He's running. Alright. I'm hiding behind this tree so I don't get a ricochet. You're trying to go from all the way over there? Mm -hmm. Hold on, I gotta get behind your back. Well, I gotta turn this GoPro on. I got his leg. Dang it. He's running with a dart in him right now. <gasps> oh my gosh. I don't have much practice with... He's all blown up. Go over and shoot from the air conditioner vent back this way. Oh, he is not happy right now. Got him. He's toast. Blowgun 101. I actually bought this like four months ago and we haven't used it yet. And I'm like, perfect opportunity to use this thing. See all that white goose? Hold on, let me get all the light. See all the white? That is purely poison, toxin, and if your dog licks it... It killed my mom's dog. I heard if your dog ever gets a Bufu frog, I mean, you gotta notice it immediately, shove a hose in their mouth, squirt hydrogen peroxide down their throat, try to get them to throw up. But unfortunately, a lot of dogs, a lot of pets have been killed because of these frogs. It only took me three times. <laughs> oh, How did I get his his leg? Like that's actually kind of skill, not gonna lie. You found number two? Yeah, he was hiding in the mulch. Right there. Ooh. Yeah, that was the big one. Get him out of there. So. He's out. All right. This one is actually a little bit bigger. I haven't. I've only practiced a little bit with the bigger ones, so. If I hit your house, sorry. I'll go from this way. Oh no! No, 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 he's on the run! Whoa, hey. don't be shooting in my direction. He's behind the brick now. Hold on, you gotta... Here he goes! Whoa, whoa! Oh, he's so fast! Oh, he's gonna get down in that hole, just like... <laughs> Come here and shoot him right here, right now! He's right in that wire. Stand up tall. I don't see him. He's right at the mouth of that hole. Where? If you move any closer, he's gonna oh, run. I see him. Shoot him right the there. The thing is, you can't tilt this too far because then the bolt will come out. Stoned him. Smoked him. I think. Ooh. No, you missed him. What? Get you another dart. Aim to the left. Did I guess. Did I miss him? 
Yeah, you shot over him. Hey, it's moving. There's like too many darts in there now. Listen, I'm gonna tell you what. My hogfish in the Bahamas, third time's a charm. Strawberry grouper in the Bahamas, third time's a charm. That frog, third time's a charm. But you see, this is my last good hand and this is what I'm holding the camera with. Just don't hit it. I'll try not to. Or I can make the other hand match. Should I go from this way? No, your okay. way. Angle it in towards you. I know, I can't. So I started planning the plants over there where the little doghouse was, however, I didn't really like them there and they were in too much shade according to Gabe, so I'm like, alright, where else can we plant them? I can't exactly plant them um, on the other side of the fence just because we have these big pine tree stumps that still need to be removed as you can see here. Boom, 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 boom. And the roots on those things are insane. So we decided to plant them along the edge of the pool patio as you can see here and i got six to start but i counted one two three four five i'm gonna need 15 more plants to finish the perimeter of this pool patio so we're gonna have lots of butterflies in our future i do have a caterpillar on one of the plants now he's so cute but my brother just got here and we're gonna work on the front yard which is another video but right now i gotta go to my oma's and we're gonna eat a belated birthday dinner um with that mutton snapper that i defrosted earlier in the video so i'll see y'all at my oma's all right you guys we took out those boo food toads back at the house right now i'm at my oma's which is my dad's mom and we're gonna eat some dinner. We have the mutton snapper that I defrosted earlier today. I went ahead and separated, I cut them in half. I put the bigger fillets on one foil and the smaller ones on another piece just so when I do put them on the grill, they cook evenly. We got some minced garlic here. Went ahead and rubbed all the minced garlic on the fillets. Tell you what, garlic just goes so good with fish. I didn't know that. You didn't know that. We got some butter. Like y'all already know, butter goes good on everything. Boom. Boom. Making this super simple. I'm upset that I accidentally left my lemon at home though. We got some garlic, salt, Some black pepper. Man, you really gotta work this thing to get some pepper out. It's an old meal. All right, just like that. Super simple, super delicious. I don't know anybody who doesn't like garlic, but we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up and put it on the grill. You want some fish? You guys, this is Buddy. This is my brother's dog. He's getting, he's gonna be an old man pretty soon. He's getting up there. So I didn't realize that my Oma, she must have switched up grills on me because this one is a flat top. But we're gonna still use the foil. Put that baby on there. Bigger ones. Whew. Close it up and let it cook. My Oma made some rice, some cucumber salad, and chopped up some beets as well. It's gonna be a super healthy meal. All right, so these little pieces are definitely done. The trick is transferring them to the tray without the juices dripping. 
Oh yeah. It's looking nice, flaky. Oh yeah, that's done. Perfect. I'm gonna give the big one a few more minutes. Actually, let me check it. This has actually been pretty high. Come over here. Mm. Oh, there's a lot of juice in this one. Oh yeah. No, I could use a few more minutes leaving that sucker on there. There's one thing I love in this world. It's fresh, heavy whipping cream all whipped up. Mm -hmm. mm, it's so good. So delightful. Now, one thing about my Oma is growing up, she you know, you makes what? Put a little gelatin in. It stays longer. Whipped. In the whipped cream? Yeah. Oh my, have you been eating whipped cream? <laughs> Why is it on my nose? Yes, it's on your mouth. <laughs> we got Luke doing homework over here. Luke, you almost done with your homework? I'm already done. You're done? Say what? All right, looks like you can go swimming after dinner. But unless you go swimming. All right, deal. Because, do you have a bathing suit? Nope. I'll just put my feet in the pool. But my Oma makes the best desserts in the world. They are very light, delightful. They're not overpowering sweet like America's sweets. Like you go get dessert in America, it's just like loaded with sugar. Like it's just way too sweet and heavy. And pastries I've noticed in like France or Germany or other like desserts around the world, they're very delightful. And that's what I like when it comes to desserts. It's just full of whipped cream underneath the pudding. What's the pudding made out of? Vanilla pudding. Oh, okay. Milk and a two tablespoons of sugar because the pudding had no sugar in it. Mm. That's the German style pudding I usually buy. Even though I walk through the valley of death, I fear no evil. For you are with me. For you are in with me. He, your rod. Your rod and your staff comfort me. They comfort me. They comfort me. Good job, you're free. You're free so, from homework. So, two verses, three verses, four. Good job. You want some whipped cream, Luke? Ah, got you. Gosh. So fancy. <laughs> hmm? It's hot in here, that's why Buddy's panting. Okay, let's pray. Richard. Put your hands together and pray, Luke. Thank you, dear Lord, for these gifts which we are about to receive from thy bounty to Christ our Lord. And please, please bless all our military and get everybody home safe. Hope we get to an end with all that chaos. Please, Lord, help everybody over there. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Luke, what do you say? <clears throat> Amen. 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 All right. Well, what, what's a little plate for? For the cucumber salad. You want some cucumbers? Do you like cucumbers? <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> you have a cucumber shirt on. He does. All right. So our fish is all done. What kind of fish is it? It's a type of snapper. Mutton. Yep. You got yes. it. Tyler, I want your opinion first. I'm a nervous eater. <laughs> oh, stop it. Just take a, just take a, a fork full and have a taste. I already know it's gonna be good. Yeah. It's pretty simple. There's no way you can't like it. Would you're you pretty like a plain. spatula? Spatula? I want to take it out? I got a spoon right here. Okay. Thank you. I'm not sure. Let me take another bite real quick. Gotta get another bite. You While Tyler's tasting, this is my Oma Hanalori. You want to cut it off? <laughs> yes, I will. 
This is my dad. This is Richard, my Oma's boyfriend. He's kind of deaf, sometimes he can't hear. This is little Luke. This is Blue Gabe's youngest son. My brother Tyler. Ty Ty Inst on Instagram. Or I would I would I would put mutton in the top ten of all fish. Top ten? For yeah. real? Yeah. Alright. But right now I'm going to end this video and we are going to enjoy this fish that myself and Blue Gabe caught actually on his channel a few months back. Um I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been following my channel, supporting me, subscribing, liking my videos, uh, commenting on them, keeping the engagement up high. Uh, we have, it's getting into our hunting season now, so deer season's right around the corner. I will see you guys on the next video. See ya. I'll be the same.